This is Otaku O6, and today's reel I'm about to talk about something pretty exciting. I mean, nothing too much revealed, but it's something we are all been waiting for, and this is what I'm about to talk about. And that is Kyrie's new outfit for Kingdom Hearts 3. So it's just confirmed that for the Kingdom Hearts Union's Cross S game in Japan, um, you get able to um, unlock Sora and Kyrie Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit. Obviously, this is the first time we get to see Kyrie's outfit for King Hearts 3. Even though I haven't seen her appearance yet, but it looks like we'll get to see it really soon, especially between the E3 uh, Square Enix showcase or the um, or the Okrisa concert. So, from the looks of it, I think her outfit in this game looks really cool. I mean, I like her, I really did like her um, King Hearts 1 and 2 outfit, but this one looks really nice. Her her and Sora's outfit are going to look really great together, and I can't wait to see how it looks like in the full appearance. During the Kingdom Hearts 3 premiere event, uh, Kingdom Hearts director uh, Cecilia Nemora uh, confirmed that the ending for Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be hard to swallow, which means it's going to be a really testing and perhaps impactful uh, finale. I really not too sure what to expect. I mean, either one of the main character dies or something big happens. I mean, depending on what Zerno does, I mean, obviously Zerno has been the antagonist for this whole franchise well King Hearts 3 is going to be the conclusion to the Dark Secret saga so obviously it's going to be the end of his story I'm not sure how they're going to play out in the finale I mean I'm pretty sure my, in my opinion it probably, my prediction is probably going to be between like the likes of Sora, Riku or Kairi being gone or something else happening I mean for me it's, it's going to be pretty like interesting to look forward to especially after like you know if any war Andy, but for this game, I feel like the ending is probably gonna be pretty, pretty big. Honestly, I mean, especially for this type of game. Also, one last thing, also been confirmed that Square Enix during the booth in E3, they're gonna have a playable King Hearts 3 demo. So many people that played the demo during the premiere event, saying that it won't be as long since that event, you'll be able to play every playthrough of the demo. Where you could play both Olympic Coliseum and Toy Story. Although, it most likely, since obviously E3 is obviously one of the biggest uh, events throughout the year, and as well as being a big um, big event for gamers too. Like for E3, it seems like the demo, they most likely go cut it down for like at least 10 minutes or so. Maybe to play the Olympic Coliseum demo, since obviously it's gonna be very crowded over there. I mean, I think this is exciting news for the fact that we are gonna get King Hearts 3 this year, obviously. Although, since the press conference is going to happen like a day before the um the event for the public, it looks like um, they obviously are going to have like everything revealed by then. So, people that are able to play the game are obviously going to know that they're going to get the full game soon enough. So, it's actually a pretty big thing to happen. And then another thing too is that I feel like the demo will be played on other events too. Now, this is going to be the same as the premiere event or something else, but obviously it looks pretty exciting to look forward to. And also another thing too is that during E3, I feel like there's going to be, I feel like the E3 uh, trailer for King Hearts 3 is going to be big, especially since obviously it's E3. And boy, by the time we get the trailer and as well people being able to play a demo, it seems like we're obviously going to get like a lot more than what we got so far. But I mean, it looks like after the premiere, it looks like everything else is going into hand according to how Nomura is saying. And I think by the time the E3 event is over then we're obviously going to be on uh, rate to gain the official game soon enough i think my prediction the game is probably going to come out in fall though that's my best guess maybe by the end of the year like in winter so who knows but obviously three can't get here soon enough so i'm looking forward to it